See, this Joshua is a fake prophet. And all these things, these wise men or white men are seeing in that BBC documentary is a proof that he's a fake prophet. Wait, for real? I'm just trying to think about it. How does that really make sense? I'm not trying to say he's guilty or innocent of those things. Firstly, let's agree to something. Yes, he is a fake prophet. He did not build church branch from household to household to extort money from the poor. He did not use the members' money to buy private jets or lost cars. He did not use the members' money to build school the members can't afford. If you live in Ekotu, the whole community uses transformer without any complaint, without any extra charges. Every year, he gives Christmas gifts to the widow, to the poor, to almost everybody he can access. He gives scholarship to more than 1,000 students. He gives shelter to more than 1,000 people. TB Joshua is more generous than any pastor in Africa or in the world. Go and check. 85% of his preaching is based on love, giving and charity. He's not one of those pastors that will always emphasize on paying tithe and offering. So what else do we even want as women? At least 85% of people that are close to him, we have one or two things that are positive to say about him. Just go there and share. Go out there and share. Don't just talk based on what you see on social media. And you see all those people coming out to say a lot of things about him. One thing is certain. If any of them took over the church instead of his wife, then I don't think any of this documentary will be outside here. I mean, if any of these wise men took over the church back then when he died, I'm not sure any of this documentary will be outside here. We all know and understand the reason behind all this. If I thought TV Joshua will not make heaven, then I don't think there's any pastor in Africa that will make heaven. They are talking about fake miracle. Let's be candid with ourselves. If you want to talk about fake, fake miracle, at least 95% of pastors in Africa are guilty of that. Yes, we all know them. That is their way. All of them, all of them are used to doing every single thing they accuse TV Joshua of doing. They are doing it. It's because their secret is not yet exposed. That's why we feel they are better. They are not. I'm not saying TB Joshua is innocent or guilty, but I'm saying every single thing they accuse TB Joshua of, at least 95% of pastors in Africa are guilty of it. We all know them. There's nothing like miracle. Yes, there's nothing like miracle. If TB Joshua miracle is fake, then every miracle we are seeing on our TV are also fake. Because you will stay in your church and be doing miracle. We have people in the hospital there that they are sick. They are dying on their sick bed. You will not go there to go and do your healing. But yet, you prefer to stay in your church to do healing. We have sick people all over. You will not do, go there and do miracles. We have go to psychiatric hospital. You, you, we have mad people there. You will not go there and heal them. But you prefer to stay in your church and be doing miracles. That is because miracle is fake. If miracle of TV Joshua is fake, then every miracle we are seeing on that television, every miracle, they are fake too. Yes. Let's call speed speed. No pastor in Africa is innocent. So after every good thing Stevie Joshua did before he died, the only thing we can all come out to say now is that he is a fake prophet. No problem now. If I thought he is a fake prophet and he is able to do all those charities, then I feel we need more fake prophets in our midst. Thank you. 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 Thank you.